Welcome back everyone, Sweet Battle Scars here, and I am back with another unboxing video. Today we're gonna look at the Bam Presto Sculptures lunch figure, and this is her wild blonde haired version. And uh, if those of you who have followed my channel know that I recently unboxed her regular sweet uh, brunette version. So this is uh, the other version and I was actually very much looking forward to uh, being able to unbox this for you guys. And th this is actually a pretty, pretty rare figure. It's uh, kind of difficult to find out there in the wild and it goes for, uh, you know, pr pretty high prices. Uh, I mean, the, uh, these these figures are probably worth at most about $20, $25 when they are released. Of course, in Japan, they are worth, you know, even they're even cheaper than that because uh, you can get these through, uh, you know, different uh, mediums, different stores. Some of them are, are distributed through cranking, so through crane machines. And some of these are just kind of sold. Uh, you guys might notice that this does not have a crane king uh, logo on it. So this was not, at least to my knowledge, it was not uh, distributed through those little crane machine, the little mini games that you can play to uh, uh, win figures. So I think this was just, these these figures were just probably sold. And this is an older uh, series. This is part of, uh, I think, Series 2. I can't remember if there's a, an official title for this, but this is Series 2. So it's kind of an older series and it looks at figures from the Dragon Ball universe, not Dragon Ball Z. So uh, Lunch had a uh, much more uh, active role in the original Dragon Ball when Goku was still a child and not Dragon Ball Z. So uh, this is a quick look at the box. It's a very awesome figure. Again, it was uh, kind of hard to find. I got mine through eBay through a, a nice seller who uh, had a uh, pretty reasonable price. I mean, it wasn't that cheap, but it wasn't crazy either. It wasn't like $80. I've seen this go for like upwards of $80 or $100. So I definitely did not want to pay that. So I got it for a uh, much cheaper than that, but it still, it didn't cost me. Most, like I said, most of these figures uh, cost about $20, $30 at most, even the most expensive ones but on average you can get these for like maybe 20 if you're lucky maybe 18 15 dollars but uh anyway so enough talk uh, i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this figure i'm very much looking forward to this pose and you guys can see why it's a rare figure it's a very awesome pose very very dynamic figure uh with uh, lunch and that little uh, uh i guess a little motorcycle little uh little i don't know it looks like a vespa kind of it's not a vespa but it's a uh, kind of little little uh motorcycle of course it's from a capsule corp little capsule that turns into a uh, or that uh stores this little vehicle here so we're gonna pull it out and it's uh in bubble wrap and sorry the camera is getting really bright let me adjust that for you guys here i think uh that's gonna be a problem all right, so it's in a uh, bubble wrap. Very well packaged. And um, this seller assured me that it was, uh, you know, pretty much new. So I wanted to confirm that. And sorry, the light is so bright. I'm going to adjust it. Here we go. I think that is that better. No, that's still really bright, isn't it? Okay, that might be better. I, I might I might adjust it later. So, yeah, the, the bag is sealed. So, yes, thank you. I am very glad that that seller was honest. And, uh, yes, it's a brand new figure. I was a little afraid that it was used or uh, previously displayed. But, yeah, you can see that this bag was sealed. So, it, it was never displayed. And here is the vehicle, the little, the little uh, I guess I just call it motorcycle. But it's it's just a vehicle. Kind of brighten it up a bit now that we don't have that plastic bag there so i'm gonna set it aside and i'm sure we have a little a little base for it uh in the other or i hope we do in the other in the other bag so that they can properly stand and i'm sure we do so let's uh open this this one up set that aside here we go i think the light is uh, much better now without all this plastic here I get all this plastic out of the way quickly so that it doesn't affect the light. So there we go, that looks much better. Yes, and here is the base. Oh, and the base really, really, really looks, it looks really, really awesome. Right this is a very nice base. You guys can see that it's uh, it's got some nice uh, colors there. It's a very nice blue color with the orange Dragon Ball. I love this vase. That's one of the things that I really like about this figure. This figure is just awesome in general. Like I said, it's one of the 
the best looking uh, sculptures figures out there. The uh, that's the series name, sculptures. It's like a mixture of a sculpture and culture. So here is lunch. She comes in two pieces. Very nice figure of lunch. Um, let's put her together so it doesn't look weird. Doesn't look like she was uh, cut in half. All right, there we go. So there is uh, the lunch figure. And uh, actually, let me fix the light a bit. There you go. I'm sorry that I keep uh, doing that to the light. Just got to find the sweet spot here. There we go. I think that might be better. All right, so there you guys can see her uh, face pretty clearly. Uh, you guys can see uh, that it's a very just it's a very simple paint job as most of these figures uh, have. It's a very simple paint job. Not not much in terms of like shading or or uh, dry brushing or uh, or airbrushing or anything. But uh, very simple flat colors on her shorts. And uh, her skin, I, I don't think is uh, really painted. She has a little bit of shading here uh, towards the top of her legs. But uh, this is, for the most part, unpainted plastic. She has a little more there. You, you, you can see it looks a little red. She might be a little sunburned. She probably has been spending too much time in the sun. And you guys can see that her shotgun looks very nice. Very nice colors there. Her gloves are very nicely detailed. What does that say? Sturgis? I don't remember that. It might be a brand from the series. But uh, there you go. So let's set her on her uh, vehicle here. You guys can see, uh, you guys can hear the plastic kind of snapping into place. So it's a very, very nice, very solid joint. And it's uh, actually very heavy. This uh, this vehicle is uh, pretty solid, so it's uh, pretty heavy. And uh, you guys can see that the vehicle does have some nice shading. There's some very nice. Uh, there are some very nice highlights happening here. Uh, darker tones here around the edges. More highlights there. Uh, nice metallic finish uh, on some of the details here on the metal parts. Oh, nice uh, nice detail there with the buttons with the little panel on the controls. Uh, you can see that it's a nice paint job there on the brakes as well. So it's a very, very awesome figure. I'm really happy to uh, to have been able to find this. Like I said, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a better of it's a uh, it's pretty pretty rare now. And of course, it's been out for I believe a few years already. So there you guys have it. There is uh, Lunch, her uh, crazy wild ver version and uh, very nice details all around. I really like that clear smoke here that they've uh, given her underneath her vehicle. Uh, her sneakers too, very nice details there. You guys can see that the whole figure is very nicely detailed, very nicely painted. Her pouch too, very her bag there, very nicely done, very well done. <laughs> She's got all these little... Uh, bills here green bills some money flying out of her bag as she's uh making her escape probably just robbed the bank or something so there you guys go very whimsical statue very 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 naughty very wild uh looking statue i love it i love this figure and uh just for some comparison i have her uh normal version here and as you guys can see, it is much bigger. It's a much bigger scale. These fi uh, figures were used to be a little smaller. So you guys can see that in comparison, the uh, this lunch is much smaller. Even with the vehicle, it's uh, much smaller. And it's uh, it's actually a little heavier too. This one's solid. This one, because of her skirt, skirt is mostly hollow. So uh, there you guys have it. Uh, both versions of uh lunch and uh, i'm really glad that they that ben presto made uh, some figures of her uh, i love that she's been re represented in the uh, figures you don't see many figures many lunch figures and i'm happy to have both of these now and uh so there you guys go i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please feel free to post any questions or comments you might have in the comment section below if you've enjoyed the video please uh comment like share and subscribe 
for more and I'll see you guys on the next unboxing video.